Hello there guys, it is Omelette, <clears throat> sorry, and I am back for a, another Minecraft video. Uh, haven't made one in a while, so I thought I should just kick one off with a, uh, a redstone contraption. This is actually a response to Rolf David's uh, minecart, uh, I believe it was the minecart combination uh, deathlock or something like that. And basically you would have to put in a correct com the correct combination and a minecart would be summoned and if the combination is correct the minecart will whisk you away to your destination but if the uh, combination is incorrect you will be sent to your death it will change the minecart direction and you either go to where you want to go or you die and uh, I really like his videos. I really like uh, the his creativity, and I thought I would uh, ha approach this project differently. Um, in his video, his lock, how he, um, was uh, how would you say static? Uh, basically, you would have to hit them in the correct order, and I mean the cart would be sent down, but you couldn't change the actual code itself it's it would be one code like uh like it would be just be a, like a certain code and you would have to use that code every single time and i thought you know what if you wanted to change the code what if you wanted to make it so that you know you change it so that only you may, maybe you know it or just from I me mean, just if you want to change it so i went ahead and i'm starting on a project yeah as you can see it's nowhere near finished but uh Oh, uh, really? I have the uh, beginning here started. Very simple, uh, you know, just inverted uh, signal, and uh, it's inverted again. Uh, let's go ahead and start over here, um, so I can really explain to you guys how it works. Um, just a couple of RS nor latches. Uh, really, this is the back panel, and this is where you're gonna set your code. Uh, I decided to use buttons so it can correlate with the uh, front panel there instead of actual uh, levers but and they're the signs are the same back here so you can know, you know which code you want it to be so instead of like let's say uh, the code was like B C A D F E uh, you can always clear the code which would clear I would I'll start over there um, soon it would clear it would clear the code and then it would enable you to again type in your own code just go down the line and then the code would be set well uh, let's go over here which would this is where all the action really does happen uh, over here is where it's really starts comparing and this is where the memory happens and this is where I'm trying to figure out um, how I want this to happen because uh, really every time you send a signal like let's say you clear this is like a fresh this is just all fresh uh, when you send a signal, let's say I hit B. Let's go ahead and find B, which should be over here. When you hit B, B, this uh, torch will turn off, and this at the front will turn uh, on. Uh, don't ignore that one for right now. This one will turn on. And uh, when it turns on, when you hit the next uh, switch B will turn off like let's say you hit C B will turn off and C will turn on and basically it's going down the line it's um depend it's going into memory B is still into memory but now C is the active one and when you uh, select all your uh, how would you say the combination you want you'd have to go backwards in, you'd have to go backwards and enter that combination on the front panel so as you can see I believe I was uh, making a little test over here F is now selected and uh, let's say uh, the combination was F E let's go back here can we use these standard ones let's just say it's F E D C B and A right when let's and on the front panel when you select F uh, it will compare using an XNOR gate. It will compare the signals 
because as you can see it uh it's powered right now and it'll compare that the this signal with the front panel signal if f is selected and this is correct then f will turn off and uh, e will turn on and let's say you hit f again it's incorrect and the entire uh circuit will reset and this is i mean it's 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 a little bit harder than it sounds like only because uh, because i mean you have to make it so that it's not static you want it to be dy dynamic so that each code i mean works independently you don't want all the codes to uh i mean turn into something where it relies on one another it has to be independent otherwise the, it's not going to work and it's 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 difficult i mean i've never really done anything like this and uh I don't think it has anything to do with like a CPU or any type of AO, AOU. You're not really adding or subtracting. You're really putting things into memory. And I've done little things with memory up to now, but really, it's turning into something where you're you have like a how you say I guess you're having a memory back here, and you're asking for the memory, and you're verifying the memory, and if the memory is not correct, you're um, pre resetting everything and uh, I've also optionally put in a reset switch over here on the front just in case let's say you put the code in wrong like uh, let's say it's like A B C D E F let's say you put A B C and you hit C again and you know that's not the correct code you would hit the uh, reset button and then you can just start all over again uh, and it, it's a and I'm gonna just uh, stay original to Rolf Davis design uh, how you say he had the uh, Pez dispenser of minecarts over here uh, I like that a lot and I'm not, I haven't really messed around with minecarts until now so yeah it's it's a new uh, uh, a new adventure and uh, I don't want to make the video too long but I just thought I'd show you guys I'm still doing my uh, minecraft videos on that just uh, really am working on this one it's probably going to take me a while to figure it out if you have any suggestions uh, you can leave it in the comments below and i'll uh, read them and put them into action always open to comments and suggestions uh and yeah i'm I, I mean what else is there to say it's just a little preview i'll make more uh, minecraft videos during the week i'm probably going to make the soy craft city showcase part two soon I'm trying to find some people to talk with me uh, throughout the video rather than talk by myself. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys this uh, little thing. And again, uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, PM me and uh, or hop on TeamSpeak and all that. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys later.